Leaders of the opposition parties, which are fielding the largest slate of candidates, have made a final attempt to tell voters what's at stake. Progress Singapore Party's Tan Cheng Bok, Workers' Party's Pritam Singh, and Singapore Democratic Party's Paul Tambaya are all contesting the election for the first time as party leaders. The PSP's Dr. Tan stressed the importance of transparency in governance. If we get a chance to go into parliament, I would expect the MPs have, who have got him to ask the right questions. Not just ask questions for the sake of asking questions, but to actually ask questions to delve further into the subject so that you can have full understanding and it will then this will be reflected to the ground by all your media. So I think the country will be better. There will be more trust and that when you do things, I think it's easier. Workers' Party Chief Pritam Singh wrapped up his party's campaign by spelling out three main takeaways. One, the need for responsible and rational opposition MPs. Two, that the non-constituency MP scheme is not a sustainable way to bring residents' feedback to Parliament. And three, that there's a real risk of an opposition wipeout in this election. Uh, do they want just uh, uh, government MPs, uh, PAP MPs, or do you want a, a diverse slate of individuals that the Workers' Party has put forward? 21 candidates, different walks of life, different life experiences, raising important issues to Parliament so we can chart the future of Singapore for the next decade or two. Because it's a very critical uh, 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 crisis in that sense. And you know, I've always been a big believer in the fact that crises are opportunities. And you really want to turn this opportunity to, to, to ensure that Singapore is well placed for the next leg. I think we can do it. The Singapore Democratic Party Chairman Paul Tambaya says the pandemic has a huge economic impact beyond medical implications. He says his party has spelled out recovery plans in its four yes, one no campaign. The number one actually was to suspend the GST to protect the low income from uh, the impact of COVID. And number two, which is really important, is retrenchment insurance, because we know that jobs are going to be affected by uh, the impact downstream of COVID. So those two are the, are the key planks in terms of the uh, economic response to the COVID.